So in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC, you can also embed video files. In order to do that, you can actually go over here onto the right side and you'll see something called Ritz Media. And if you don't see Ritz Media, you can go to Tools right here and over here on the top right, you can see Ritz Media. Let me just click on it. And over here, you can see that there's an option to add a video. So let me go over here and click on add video. And then it gives me an option to click and drag uh, the video area. So I'm going to uh, make this area as a video player area. So let me just click and drag this out just like this. And that is going to be my video player area. So just like that, I can select the video file. I can have a direct link to a video URL. Um, in case my video is stored online, but I'm going to embed the video as an offline file. So I'm going to click on browse right here and over here uh, in my tutorial drive, I'm going to search for a video that I have. So let's go over here and see if I have a video right here. Let's say for example, I'm going to go to my um, uh, tutorial folder and here you can see that there's this video right here which is about my after effects tutorial it is an mov file as you can see which is supported the video files that are supported are mov mp4 that is basically mp4 mov and 3gp files so i'm going to select this video tutorial right here i'm going to press open and you can see that the file is selected so once i do that i'm going to also show the advanced options right here and here you can see that i can choose how the video will be played so I want to enable the video when the content is clicked. I can in, I want to disable it when the content is uh, just selected from the context menu itself. Disable content. This is the standard. You can also choose other things if you want. Let's say I want to um, let's say disable the video when the page containing the content is not visible, for example. So I can also do that right there. Page style, play content on page or a floating window. I'm just going to play it on page right here. You can also set the width and height of the video right here, but I'm going to leave it as it is. So over here, you also can add a border. So I'm going to add in a thick border uh, so that I know a player is there. I can also add in a poster, but right now I'm going to retrieve the poster directly from media so that will, uh, so it will take the tool will take care of that for me. So I'm going to go to the control right here. And over here in the playback control, you can see that you can go for all control. And you can also choose a certain control. Let's say you don't want to give users any control. You want to just give them option to play and pause. You can just select this. Over here, you give the option to play, stop, seek, mute, and volume. So you can choose the number of options you want to give. So I'm going to say all control. And I can also choose the color of the control menu. In my case, let's say I'm going to choose a dark blue right there. So I'm just going to choose dark blue. I can also auto hide control, so that's a good thing to have. And I can select the opacity of the video. So let's say 70% is what I want. I'm going to go to the video. I can also add in chapter points if I want to. So I'm just going to leave everything as it is, and I'm going to press OK. So it'll load up the video right here. And here you can see that I have the video. So I can click on play. I can click on play, and you can see that the video is playing out. And you have the controls right here like that so now you can also pause this out and the seeking control everything is there i can also right click and i can see the video in a floating window as you can see so now it becomes a floating window no matter how much i scroll the windows just like that it actually floats out just like that as you can see i can uh just close the floating window right here let me just scroll down it's not visible anymore and it can see right there so if i have multiple pages and so forth if i scroll down that video will be automatically stopped i can also right click and play the video in full screen mode just like this so it is in full screen mode now let me just play it out and you can see that now the video plays in full screen and everything can be embedded in the pdf itself once i want to close it i can right click and i can end the full screen mode and if i don't want the player anymore i can simply right click and disable the content so that is how you can embed videos inside of uh, pdf documents using adobe acrobat pro dc hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe